Nasrallah was not expecting a comfortable ride, especially after hearing the stories his fellow passengers shared. He became anxious when he heard that for some travellers, this was their second attempt, and even for a few others, their third try to get to Persia. Fortunately for him, the journey was not a long one. The steamer was dirty, and the mosquitoes sharing Nasrallah's sleeping cabin were plentiful and voracious, not to mention the bedbugs inhabiting his mattress that made sleeping difficult. During the second night of the trip, before they were to arrive, the weather turned stormy. The water became extremely choppy, as the size of waves on the treacherous Caspian sometimes rivals the height of oceanic waves, reaching above 20 feet. The movement of the boat in a rolling sea was tremendously disturbing for Nasrallah. Every moment, it seemed as if the trembling ship was going to break up beneath the force of the waves. Nasrallah was terrified and nauseous by the motion of the vessel. Wondering if he would ever see his family again, he questioned whether an early grave was waiting for him at the bottom of the Caspian. The little time he did close his eyes and let his mind wander, he was disturbed by visions of being hurled into the deep, with seaweed wrapped around his face, sinking to rise no more. 